Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're at David's parents' house because we're having some work done at our house, so we're staying here. And we decided that we wanted to have a date night, and our local library <laughs> uh, has these cool little bags that they have date nights. And tonight's theme is Italian night, and it is called Bella Notte. It uh, means beautiful night. And it's actually, well, I want to show you the little things that are in here. The first thing is a cookbook. If you want to do this, like, a, a, a date night at home, you don't have to mean, you can, these are just examples, but you can go out and find your own. But this is the one it came with. It's called Extra Virgin. It's by Gabriel Corcos and Debbie Mazur. And uh, we're going to be cooking out of this tonight. It also comes with a puzzle. It's a thousand puzzle piece uh, of Italy. And it comes with three different movies. Life is Beautiful, Roman Holiday, and Under a Tuscan Sun. I've seen that one, so we probably won't watch that one. But those are some three examples of movies. And this is what I'm really excited about. It is a date night um, game. It's a question game that you can ask your spouse. So I'm really excited about that. And here is a Dean Martin Italian love songs. Maybe we should have had BB take Jane's for the night. Okay, so the first thing we are going to bake is going to be this Florentine orange cake. And I'll put the, hopefully I remember to put the uh, directions and everything on it. But then it look good. I'm not going to be that, uh, unless David wants to be that. Do you want to be that? I don't think we can just do dusty powder with. Do we have Dusty that? powder? Dusty, dusty powder. Uh, I don't think we have those leaf. No, it, I, I was joking. I go get a leaf outside. Okay. All right. Dave's telling jokes. All right, so let's get started. It says you have to butter the pan. Our date nut includes our son, which is... It's, it's funny, like, he doesn't, he's not a very upset baby until he's on camera, it's like. Well, right now he wants candy, so yeah. that's a little different. I know, but it seems like, like, he's always good, and then we put the camera on, and it's like, he gets the world shy. is going to think that he's, I don't know if I'm doing this right. You are buttering it. I was being OCD about it and then I was like, okay.
guess I'll use the little one. Yes. Okay. The whole orange? Grated zest and juice of one orange, yep. Go up and down, it works better. Yeah, there you go. I've never seen a zester like that. Just get in your eye. Careful, people. Five minutes later. <laughs> 30 minutes later, more likely. <laughs> Do you want to use a cutting board? You cut your hand off. Yeah. Let's save that. Method of cutting. I'll copy me. Use those big muscles. Have you ever used a mixer before? I've had my mom bake cakes. What do you mean? He washed his hands. Uh, there's a bit of warm <laughs> We set a timer? What? Did we set a timer? Oh no, I thought you were counting. You said four minutes. Three to four minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at it. You want to wake the beaters? Yes. I'll make sure it's on the plug. That would be nice if that would be that'd be nice. Thanks. Did you cut the time? What'd you say? Did it have to get all of it. Don't leave any of that behind. The best part is the powdered sugar. Well that comes on last. Yeah. <laughs> the easy part. We don't have to get a leaf outside so we can decorate it. What? Have to get a leaf outside so we can decorate it. Oh <laughs> I almost dropped it in my I'm about to say, I feel like a 50s little Betty Crawford and I was oh. so to that way. It's not like a thick, like 50, regular... The 50 Betty Crawford outtake. <laughs> it's not like a thick, like, batter. So it's... Okay. All right. Now, 50. On for the oven. Oh. There we go. And it cooks for yes. 30 Got minutes. Got that butter. No butter was used in the making of this except for the paint. Next, we are going to be making our drinks because we're going to drink and cook at the same time. And this drink is called da 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 foreplay. <laughs> ah, we have our we have our son. So. It goes with our theme. Yeah. Oh it's yeah. Hard. I didn't even I didn't even mean to do that when I was making it. Oh, you did? When I picked it out. No, I thought you were. No, no, like, I, oh, I didn't know, but yeah, it's called Four Play. That's hilarious. You picked out a random drink and, and dessert and all orange. Is there orange in our dinner? No, I don't believe so. Yeah. Oh, make sure. uh, you're making it? I'll let you make it. We have more waiting experience. Nice job. Yeah, he waited tables for five years. Me. You didn't mix drinks though? No, I didn't. I was on a bartender. They didn't allow me behind the bar. Do we have all the ingredients? Yes. The juice. Do we have lime? Lime? Okay. Orange, sorry. Yes, we have. We have. Alright, we have serrano chili. Yeah, that was for dinner. Surprise! Tabasco shot drinks, but I guess I'll try it. It's gonna be a sexy drink. 
It says when you want a romantic cocktail that is aggressive. 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 I, I don't know if I ever, I, I, now I'm starting to second guess myself. I don't know if I want an aggressive drink. I, I, I normally don't drink aggressive drinks. <laughs> Now, I've never even my, heard of aggressive drinks. My probably like it. They like spicy Bloody Marys. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I should try them. I don't think I would like it. But, but it also says... Oh, wait, I don't need you. That is for dinner. You can leave it out because we're going to need it next. For later? Yes, for our food. Okay. Okay. Ooh. It says it's a, it's a aggress it's aggressive drink from its visual display to the way it hits your throat. The foreplay is your drink. Do we have simple syrup? You make that yourself. One uh, cup of oh, water that's... and one cup of brown sugar. Oh, oh yeah. I was going to say you can make simple syrup. When you have a small child in the house, they burn it so they can't burn it so they don't grab it and burn, get themselves burned. You have a small child? We actually probably should check on him. I just thought we had a big pet. She comes to us when we're needy, needy like a dog or cat. I'm joking, James. Okay. Okay, what's next? While we're doing that, let's put this up. Clean as you go. You have less than That's the trick I've learned. So then if you cook and bake, and you have all the stuff lying around, water. Did you mean to leave the water running? Yeah. I wanted to. Well, you need the recipe. You can't shut it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll move this. I wouldn't get dirty. Okay. That's actually what we're doing for dinner. Oh, oops. I guess. Yeah, we're having <laughs> fake sauce for dinner. What's the very first part of the first? I'm going to have to play. The scared is going to wall. Peekaboo! Hey. Yeah. Sorry, you reached your time limit. Alright, I'll give you one hour. Look at that cute little face. There you go, buddy. Watch here, Emma drives Disney Princess. No. Okay. Of course. Oh, oh it's boiling. <laughs> Okay, okay. Sure, sure. You turn it off? Yeah. Okay. Now we pour it in the shot glass. Turn the lights off, or the sound? The sound. Um. So now we need one and a half ounces. Italian women. And I, I knew exactly what I was doing. I didn't because I was trying to get some of my eyes today. Orange. Break it. 
get all that. Now I need three ounces of vodka. The best part. I don't need shit. Oh, I only brought one serrano, serrano pepper, so it, I wouldn't think it left that. You might have stopped. We'll enjoy this drink. We have to go to wine. We have pre-muddled our version. I don't think we muddled it right. No, I don't think we did either. Uh, we tried the muddle, but we don't have a muddler. Are you sure you don't want to have? Oh, you did have. Them. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah, I did. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we are not bartenders. Nope. Our bartender friends on this way. This is how they do it in the restaurants, folks. Ooh. Hi. Okay. So, glass, please, ma'am. Oh, no, wait. If you want to pour it, you need to. Do sugar. We're cooking, baby. Okay, so here is our Here's role the, play. The finished product. Lots of party in a class. Okay. That is spicy. You know what? We let it sit too long. And it was really <laughs> I, didn't, I should have poured it immediately after we shook it. Okay. It's alright, it's just uh, the Serrano, we let it sit while we were trying to get the, we didn't have our glasses ready. So the mix sat in the Serrano chili, muddled, for a long time. Can we water it down with something? Because it's like burning my mouth. Um, can I add more of everything? Let's put some splashes in it. I mean, if you want to make it, a bigger drink. It tastes drink. good though. You know why we should have de Yeah, I didn't do that. I thought about that as I was muddling it. That was the problem. The seeds, because I love the I love the flavor of the chili, but the seeds are a bit much. That's the problem. With that. I think the next drink will probably take the Pretty much the next. Said these half of a onion. See here, he's trying to climb the seat unsuccessfully so far. Let's see what he does next. Will he make it? Uh huh. You may never know. <laughs> Alright, back to cooking. She's peeling the layer of the onion. It represents our marriage. There's many layers. So many to be peeled away and thrown away. <laughs> yeah, he made it. I'm crying. I'm sorry. She's just very emotional right now. I mean, I was telling her why do you cry every time you cut onions? Invented onion mask. 
They have those onion goggles. Oh, they do? Yeah. But it's smell, too, isn't it? I mean... Well, it probably goes over your nose. I don't know. I know that uh, Harley Dean wore it once, Because uh, the nose is also affected. You have, to, you have to have it over your eyes, but you have to have it over your... I made my own. Your mom was telling me if you put a cracker in your mouth and hold it out, some that it will um, make your mouth water. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh. I tried it. Didn't work? It didn't work. Also, I, what I used to do when I cook, I would put this brown cool water over it while I did it. And that seemed to do good. Is this a new method you're cutting? Or? I, would, I believe I saw this method on a Trisha year one. I've never seen that method before. Oh, watch, it, how, watch how easy it'll be when I, when I go chop it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, now it's working a little. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. It automatically dies. It helps it dice for you. That's. Let's get it close up. A little bit. I'm not perfect. Let's not. Well, I mean, we're not on a cooking show here, but but look at that. That's pretty cool. That uh, the way you cut it, you stick your knife into it, and then as you're cutting it, it dices that way, so you're getting less. My eyes are burning. Hold on. We'll be back. Okay, so I have my vegetables. Chops. I have my half of the red onion, a one carrot, and two celery stalks. All right, David is doing some dishes, and I have our vegetables in the pot or in the pan. I'm gonna cook it up until they're nice and golden. A little one upset because the iPad died. Aww. Okay, just a clue, maybe I can say, or a heads up, but I bet you're smarter than me. But make sure that when you're cooking, to turn on the right burner and not the back one if you're cooking in the front one. Yeah, my blonde is definitely coming to show. Okay, and so we're classy and we use red wine. Have a box. That was my favorite. Okay, so I put in the tomatoes and I broke them up, the whole tomatoes, and then I put Italian parsley in it and salt and pepper. And now I'm just going to oh, put it on low and then let it simmer for about 30 to 4 minutes. Yes, and this is my new cooking partner because my other one's sitting on the couch. My date is sitting on the couch ready for the game or the movie. So that's my little, that's my new cooking date. So it will come and see the spaghetti. It should be ready in about 30 to 40 minutes. I think you can see me. Um, we're going to be doing the puzzle. James, you cannot help us. So. Oh good, some people already got started. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and start the questions. Okay. First question is, what would we like to outlaw in our relationship? This is called Table Topics Couples. I think you should outlaw, or the word that starts with D, divorce. You should never say that word. Oh, okay. Well, he's happy. Okay, you go to the next one. Uh, what three places do we want to visit together? Red River, New Mexico. Red River, New York, and... Hawaii. Yes, Hawaii. You're three. New York is one of them, so we'll do that. Um, I would say back to Mexico, but we've already been there together. So I do want to go back. Um, Probably California. I want to visit some places. I don't know exactly where. Um, I know I want to visit Seattle. That's not California. I know. I'm just saying. No, I would like to visit Seattle though, too. Um, but like San Diego was a, was a place I like to visit. Um, Universal Studios. Oh yeah, because you want to go visit. see Harry Potter. Yeah. 
and I've never been to Universal Studios, so I think that would be really fun to go together. Yes, I want to go there too. I want to go back to Disney World too. Okay, ready for the next one? Let's do it. Okay. For what reasons were you disciplined when you were a child? For what reasons? Not listening is probably the number one. I mean, little boy, don't yeah. listen, they play. I mean, um, I guess I was still bad. Okay. Not listening, talking back, probably number two. Not listening and talking back is how few reasons I got disciplined. Um, you? I was a perfect child. She got slapped in the face. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> um, I remember I, I remember one time my brother and I were fighting and my mom was like, I'm done. We are both getting spanking. So my mom hardly ever spanked. It's usually my dad. Mm. And so my brother and I ran to our bedrooms and, bedrooms and stuffed pillows down our pants and anything we could stuff down our pants. And then we came in there the kitchen because my mom was cooking dinner. And we're like, we're ready for our spanking. And my mom thought that was funny. We didn't get a spanking. My brother put a book in his pants. It, does that make your mom or dad even more mad? Probably my dad. Took it out and spanked them anyway. <laughs> Kids are funny. Uh, we my we got spanked. We didn't get spanked that often. No, right? we didn't either. Uh, Rarely. I mean. We got spanked usually with the hand or a. Yeah. But we usually got one of those little ping pong pad, not ping pong pads, but the ones that had like the string on the end that has a little rubber ball, and you hit it and it tries to. Oh, 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 those paddles, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we, we would always take, well, I don't know why we'd always take the ball off, and then my dad was like, well, now that's just ready for us to use it, it's just spank it, yeah, I'm like, oh. I was going to say, why did you take that off? And all I don't really know why he bought them. They were at my dad's store, and he would, he sold them, my brother and I always wanted those, I don't know. Is it our similarities, or our differences that attract us to each other? Our similarities. I feel like similarities. Probably because we are both very family oriented. Yeah. Both Christians. Oh. Both love animals. Yeah, we do. We do. When, when I met him, I had two cats and a dog, and he had two cats. I wasn't supposed to have two cats. It just happened that way. I who I never thought I thought I'd maybe meet a guy that had a dog. I never thought. I didn't need a guy who had two cats. Never thought you'd own four cats after that? Nope. Even though when I was younger we had a bunch out in the... Well, those are the... Uh, and the... Oh, know, the acres. And you okay. We'll do a couple more questions and we'll let y'all guys go to yes. the next scene. <laughs> more. Which friends have a relationship most like ours? I guess it would be Jason and Danielle and Anthony and Katie. I was going to say Anthony and Katie because... Jason and Daniel have three kids. True. I guess the similarities um, for me are my, like I said, my two friends, um, Anthony and Katie, um, are about to have their first little one, or like us, and my best, and my other friend, um, my two best friends, Anthony and Jason, um, Jason and Daniel. Uh, we all have children. We okay. So um, was that yours or mine? Okay. So, last question. What do we want... What do we want said about us as a couple? Uh, um, we're good parents. Like that. That we're, we're, we're genuine people, I guess. We're, we're likable. We're lovable. That's the biggest thing I would... Because I like... I mean, I try to be myself always. So. Yeah, you're not, you're not fake. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, so right. let's, we're going to leave but that. We'll leave it, we'll leave it there for now. Oh, we're going to keep doing this and doing yeah. our puzzle. Yes, we're going to keep doing this with the puzzle. We'll join you all When next. it's time to eat. Yay! So, we have our spaghetti. Body. So we have our makeshift of 
Yankee candles and everything else that Di and David's mom had around the house. So, oh, and, uh, and okay. here's our, my drink. He's tired. It's okay, go night-night then. No. Okay, you don't have to. So here is our Florentine orange cake. I think it turned out looking pretty good. Mm-hmm. Looks delicious. Can't wait to cut into it. David's going to try the first bite and see what he thinks. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. How do you really feel about it? It's very good. It, the orange is not too much. Like, you can taste it. So it's not too subtle, but it's not too overpowering. Um, not dry. It's sweet too. It's really good. Uh -huh, Sweet bite. Hold on. Uh -huh. If I wasn't on camera, that I would put that all in my mouth. Uh -huh, daddy. Uh -huh, daddy. Thank you, James. Not for that one. <clears throat> Very subtle. Yeah, like you said. No, it's not overpowering, but it's it's enough that you can taste the orange. You know, it's not too light. Cause some, could, cause sometimes it can be too light. I guess maybe take a dash more, but not. All right, so I have fun on our date. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. Love you too. And if y'all enjoy, and I hope you got some ideas for maybe a, your date, stay at home day, date. If you did, like us and subscribe. Thank you. See y'all next time. Bye. Not there. Bye bye. James, bye-bye. James. James, say bye-bye.